Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's our next problem. We're solving the equation y equals 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 5 to the negative first power. We want to solve that equation for x. Okay, now, first step. y equals 2x plus 1 stays in the numerator. Because 3x minus 5 is raised to the negative first power, it is going to go to the denominator because negative 1 takes the reciprocal of the original expression. Now, next thing we have to do here, this expression is in the denominator and we want to make sure that it doesn't become 0. So we have to state our restricted value. Now, our restricted value here, a very, a very cool way to see it. Let's cover up the 3 for a minute. If the 3 weren't there, the restricted value for x minus 5 would be 5, right? But with the 3 there, you take the 5, which is easy to find, and you divide it by 3. It's a cool little trick. Our restricted value is x cannot equal 5 thirds. And see how that works? If I put 5 thirds in here, the 3's would cancel, 5 minus 5 would become 0. So that's a cool little way of finding restricted values. Cover up the leading coefficient. It's easy to see that 5 is a restricted value. Divide it by the leading coefficient. That's how we get 5 thirds. Okay, the next thing we need to do here is we need to clear fractions. Multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. This is really a 1 under the Y. We multiply both sides through by 3x minus 5. What I do to one side, I do to the other side. Now when I distribute over here, 3x times y is 3xy. Negative 5 times y is a minus 5y. And on this side, these cancel, leaving me with 2x plus 1. Okay? Now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get all the x's on the same side because I'm solving for x. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the 3xy where it is. It has an x in it. Okay? Let me put the equal sign. This 2x I want to come over to this other side because I want it to be with the x's so I'm going to do that by subtracting 2x. This negative 5y I don't want here anymore, so I'm going to add it to the other side as a positive 5y. And the 1 didn't move, so it keeps the same sign. So what I basically did is I got all my x ter terms that contained x on the left, my terms that didn't contain x on the right. And now watch what I do. On this side, I'm trying to solve for x, so I factor out an x. In parens, that would give me 3y minus 2. Here I have a 5y plus 1. And now I divide. I divide both sides by 3y minus 2. Okay, what I do to one side, I do to the other. These cancel, and this is my answer for x. So x is equal to... 5y plus 1 divided by the quantity 3y minus 2. Now there's one additional thing we need to be careful of. We now have a new denominator, so we have a new restricted value. This time it's y. y can't equal, and watch how we find it, cover up the leading coefficient. If it just said y minus 2, the restricted value would be a 2. Divide by the leading coefficient, that makes the restricted value y cannot equal two-thirds. And see that? If you put two-thirds in for y, the threes would cancel. Two minus two would become zero. So that's a neat little thing to learn, especially for those of you going on to a higher level math after 1105. How to find restricted values when things aren't pretty.